In question 8 of this exercise, the problem statement says a train travels 360 kilometers at a uniform speed. If the speed had been 5 kilometers per hour more, it would have taken 1 hour less for the same journey. Find the speed of the train. So suppose that the train goes from point A to point B, which is a distance of 360 kilometers and it covers this distance at a uniform speed of v kilometers per hour. So let's assume that this is true. So we have to find the speed of the trains. Let's assume that it is v kilometers per hour on an average. So the normal time taken by the train uh, or the time in this case will be 360 by v distance by speed. So 360 by v hours. But this problem also says that if instead of going at v kilometers per hour, if the train had gone slightly faster at v plus 5 kilometers per hour, then the time taken would have been 1 hour less. So at this speed, at v plus 5, uh, the train would have taken 360 by v plus 5 hours, distance by speed again. And what the problem tells us is that this time is 1 hour less than this time. So we can write this as 360 by V and 360 by V plus 5. The relation between these two quantities is that this quantity on the right side is one less than this quantity on the left side. Or we can write this as 360 by V is equal to 360 by V plus 5 plus 1. And this is how we can set up an equation in V. Now let's rearrange and simplify this equation and see what we get. So we have 360 by V and on the right side, let's take the LCM. So we get 360 and for this one, we will get V plus 5 in the numerator and in the denominator, we have V plus 5. And this means that we have 360 by V and on the right side, we have 360 plus V plus 5. So 365 plus V by V plus 5. Now let's cross multiply and try to write this in a simpler form. So we multiply 360 by V plus 5. So this is 360 V plus 360 into 5 is 1800. And on the RHS, we will get V times 365 plus V. So that's 365 V plus V times V or V square. So this seems to be a quadratic equation in V. So we have V square. So let's write that here v square then we have 365v and we have 360v here so if we bring it on this side we are left with 5v so we are left with 5v and then we have this 1800 which if we bring to the same side this becomes minus 1800 so minus 1800 is equal to 0. So what we get is a quadratic equation in v and now all we need to do is to solve this equation and find the value of v which is the speed of the train. So to solve this equation, I will split the middle term 5v. So I note that for the constant term minus 1800, I have 45 into minus 40. This combination gives me minus 1800 and also 45 plus minus 40 is equal to 5, which is the coefficient of the middle term. So I'm going to split the middle term 5v as 45v minus 40 V and then I have minus 1800. This is equal to zero. Now from the first pair of terms, I can take out V common. So I have V times V plus 45. And from the second pair of terms, I can take out minus 40 common. So I have minus 40 times V plus 45. This is equal to zero. And now I can take out V plus 45 common. So V plus 45 times v minus 40. So this is equal to 0. And from here, I get two values of v. What are those two values? I get v equal to minus 45 or I get v equal to 40. So because v is the speed of the train, this minus this root minus 45 does not work because the speed cannot be negative. So the only valid root in this case is v equal to 40. So the speed of the train is 40 kilometers per hour. And let's verify whether this is correct. So at 40 kilometers per hour, the train will cover a distance of 360 kilometers. 
in 360 by 40 or 9 hours right and if the speed is increased by 5 kilometers per hour so the speed becomes 45 kilometers per hour which is v plus 5 then the time taken would be 360 by 45 which is 8 hours and we find that 8 is 1 less than 9 so this answer 40 aligns with what is told to us in the problem statement so the answer is that the speed of the train is 40 kilometers per hour to learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.